When the trigger safety is in the forward position, it blocks the trigger from moving rearward. So trigger safety must be fully depressed to fire the pistol. When the trigger is pressed, the trigger bar pulls the firing pin backward. The firing pin became free, thanks to the connector, which guides the trigger bar downward. The firing pin strikes the primer because of the stress from its spring. Gases are produced when primer ignites the gunpowder. The bullet is propelled outward by these gases and hit the target. The bullet's opposing force pulls the slide back and tilts the barrel downward. The empty cartridge is taken out of the chamber by the extractor. When an empty cartridge strikes the ejector, the cartridge is ejected out of the pistol. Slide returns to its initial position as a result of recoil spring tension, pushing a fresh cartridge from the magazine into the chamber. When the trigger is pulled again to fire the next round, the slide moves backward. Slide return forces the connector hook to turn inward, allowing the trigger bar to rise. When the slide returns to its natural position, the trigger bar keeps the firing pin in place. The pistol is now prepared for the next round. The firing pin's safety mechanically blocks the firing pin from moving forward. The trigger bar pushes the firing pin safety up and opens the firing pin channel as the trigger is pulled rearward. The cartridges are pushed into the slide by the follower using a spring. The slide lock lever is pulled up by the follower when the last round is inserted into the slide. When the magazine is empty, the slide lock lever locks the slide back.